this video isn't to do with um, specifically the jobs or what we're doing it's more to do with why use and the review is on guns so I could say welcome to the gun show Ugh. Now go. Yeah, lockdown's taking a toll on me. I've really missed human interaction. So what nail guns do I use? I use the cookie and I use the wall. Second fix, first fix. Oh, this is packed very neatly. Thanks, Jake. So a lot of you have been asking me to do a review on my DeWalt pin gun nailer, really. Um, but I thought, for the sake of the video, I'm going to do a review on the Hakoki one as well. And, you know, going through why I chose them and... Yeah. But this, I mean, this gun I use in pretty much every single video that's on my channel. I use it a lot, just for pinning, tacking, you know, doing my storage that I do, just for tacking things before I screw it. Hold it in place. I use for skirting boards. Um, it, it comes in handy for pretty much everything. It's uh, a very versatile tool, let's say. And then I ended up getting this little, I say little beast. I ended up getting this beast uh, as my first fix um, nail gun because I hate gas. seen that before. So pretty much just like everyone else on their apprenticeship, I was used to paz loads. Um, if you don't know what paz loads are, they are a nail gun that uses gas and they are very, very, very popular and they're bright orange. So that's what paz loads are and you probably have seen them. So brief backstory, I was trained on paz load nail guns, first fix, wait, second fix and first fix, or first fix and second fix. I'm pretty sure I'd, I'd say 80% of, you know, joiners have, have, have used Pazlo nail guns. That's probably because uh, battery wasn't as popular as what the gas ones were and not as powerful. But now the technology has advanced. It's all beginning to change the tide of the power. So I don't know. So I went from using Pazload guns to then not using Pazload guns. And there's a very good reason for that. I didn't want the gas. I wanted to avoid the gas like the plague. I didn't like the gas. The gas was horrible. The gas was nasty. I didn't want the gas. I never liked the smell of it when I used it. I didn't like how loud they were. They were ridiculously loud with that, that punch shot when that gas really kicked in to fire the nail. I never, I never liked it. I really didn't like it. The only thing I liked about Pazload was they were extremely light and you could work with it everywhere, over your head, under your legs. I don't know why you'd work under your legs. You could work anywhere with it. My hands. Let's just wait till you drop that one. Oh, you're, you're a hater. Every single video I've got to cut stuff out. You're a hater. Do you know what I like about this four foot, Jake? Do you know what I like about the four foot? What's the difference between this and this, if anyone can see? What's the di No, don't. You're not meant to point it out. <laughs> oh, What's the difference between this? Do you know what? You've ruined it now. Do you know what? You've ruined it. Well, say it's silver or it's bigger. That doesn't count, and it's made by someone else. It doesn't count. I thought you was asking me, you know. No, it wasn't. No. I was asking my favourite people in the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. We did the cabinet, which should turn out pretty well. If you didn't see that video, here it is now. 
Look at that, it's amazing. And then we're back today to do the understairs part for more storage. Yeah. Stick that one in there. Oh, 74 and a half. We didn't say inches. Short, sure, lad. Said 74 and a half, not inches. No, but come on, you saw me measuring here. I didn't know. That. That's you that's saw, saw, me, problem, you that. saw me measuring here. Come on. I'm dead inside. DeWalt are a good brand. And at the time, I wanted to get more DeWalt tools because DeWalt were doing a, a piece, a two piece kit with the first fix and the second fix nailer, and it seemed like a good option to get. But in the end, I didn't end up going for the kit because after I looked at lots of reviews on the DeWalt first fix, it seemed a little bit meh. And I think that's still the case now. I'm not too sure on that one. But at the time, it didn't seem great, that it misfire, it wouldn't sink nails enough, um, it wasn't powerful as a pass load, and there were so many reasons, but then there were good, you know, I say good, great views on the, just the, 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 the second fix, which I ended up going for the second fix. The reason I like this nail gun is, well one, it's battery, That's always, that always helps, you can just support a system on a battery and just get it charged and easy, no gas, no messing around, you might have to clean it and service it every so often. But that's about it. But the thing that caught my eye with this one was it had bump mode, and that to me was just, it blew my mind that you could just hold the trigger and just press, and press and press and press, and fire and fire and fire. Now if you don't know what bump mode is, I'll give you a firm exemplible, exemplible, exemplible. <laughs> Two pieces of material, trigger, hold, Oh, it doesn't do it sometimes. Give me a sec. Two pieces of... Firm example. This is embarrassing. God's sake, you've just got to show me up now, haven't you? Hey? I think my bump mode died. <laughs> I can't show you a firm example with this nail gun. Here you go, this is what bump mode is. Oh, and by the way, they were 90 mil nails and that was just going through normal pine. And you can see how much it sunk them to the point where it's gone. Straight through. I thought it was because my battery wasn't full. And then I've changed the battery. This one's full. And it's not doing it. Unless I need a... Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I was going to do it then. I didn't do it before. I mean, this still fires pretty quick. So... Hey-ho. God, these are really bad reviews. <laughs> camera it keeps saying so I don't know how much is gonna be shown here because I haven't got another SD card I don't think um, but I'll try and show as much as possible in the amount of time so when the there cut all the pieces in and done all the scribing on there pretty good and this little scribe on the head here very nice and tight that one especially on there it kicks right in the corner dead tight I got it so in one video I will show you how to scribe dead tight against uneven walls and stuff. Very easy method I've got, very easy. Anyone can do it, anyone. Because um, a few people have asked me, you know, how do I do it and stuff, so I will put that in a video when I do another one of these. But I want to get this out of the way. And plus I've got no uh, memory, I think I've got about five minutes left so I can't film anything. <laughs> anyway, so the only thing that I've had trouble with this is with it jamming. Well, not jamming, just not firing nails. 
So I used to keep thinking that it was jamming loads, but after a while I found out that it was actually dust clogging up the metal band. So you might be able to see this metal band in. Oh! If you look carefully, you can see this metal band here. It's moving, right there. And what was happening was when I was firing nails quite fast, just like I showed you, is that then it would start misfiring and then just start just pretty much punching holes into the MDF or whatever I was pinning. And it was getting quite annoying and I didn't know what it was. I just kept thinking it was jamming, it was breaking, it was dying and all these things and a midlife crisis and stuff. But it turned out it just was a bit of dust that had clogged it all up and stopped it from moving. And a bit of WD-40, the absolute answer to everything, sorted it out. By the way, this, this thing holds 20 degree nails or just the angled nails that you can get. Um, 16 gauge, I would like the 18 gauge one, and there's only there's a feature on here that I'm going to be honest now, that I've only just noticed, and I've had this gun for about three years, two years, three years, three years, I've had this gun for three years, and it was this, so I've never known what this little nib is here, but once you take it off, god I'm so weak, yeah, Oh, you just pull it. It's not, a, it's not a push. It's actually a different nose tip, or the same nose tip, just newer. So that's nice, they supply you with that, I guess. I think the battery lasts quite longer than them as well. Even the two amps do last quite a long time, which is pretty good as well. So I think DeWalt did a good job with this. However, if I have only one gripe with my baby, my sweet darling, my this, just whatever this is, this expression. She's very noisy. She's, 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 ah, very, very. So, yeah. It sounds like a, a person with severe asthma trying to breathe. There's this where it's like, you know, bliss. It's like a, a newborn child that doesn't cry. Oh. So in terms of that, I'm probably in the market for the, for, you know, I'm probably in the market for the 18 gauge pin gun, which I would buy from these guys. So, Hikoki, formerly no. <laughs> I'm so sorry for doing that stuff. It's just what my humor's like. I just do weird stuff on camera to make myself feel comfortable. It really helps my self-esteem out. I don't know. So Hikoki is a off-brand of Hitachi. They ended up designing their own stuff just for power tools. I think that's right. I think they set up about a year and a half, two years ago on their own. Because Hitachi make like loads of different things that I'm sure they do like washing machines as well. I'm sure you can get a Tachi washing machine. I I'm pretty sure you can. These guys decided to go on their own and make power tools and my my, they did a very good job. Why did I buy this? Well, there are a lot of, a lot of reasons, but the main one is it sounded really cool and I'm not even joking. The sound is amazing and that was the only reason I bought it. But again, I was used to working with Hitachi tools on my apprenticeship because my boss at the time had a few Hitachi stuff and I quite like the brand. And it's a cool green, it makes everything just, it looks nice, it looks very nice. So out of all the tool brands out there like Makita, um, you know, every trade he has a Makita tool, whether it be a torch or a drill, you know. Um, DeWalt, DeWalt looks great. Again, every trade he has a, a DeWalt tool. You, it's just it's just a written rule in the in the tradey book. Um, Milwaukee, they're very strong, reliable, powerful tools, usually for commercial use or just even if you want to look cool with them. Um, you have your Bosch Professional. Again, good looking brands. You know, Fez tool. It's, you know, really expensive brands. They all look really good. Ryobi. And then there's and then there's Hikoki. There's just something about Hikoki, the way that they've designed it. It looks, to me, more professional. I don't know what it is, but it looks like you turn up on site 
and I don't know what it is, you turn up on site and you just go, I'm rocking Hakoki tools. And there was only one person that I've actually seen use predominantly Hakoki tools, and that's Robin Clevett. If you don't know who Robin Clevett is, he's a drawer on YouTube, and he's... I don't even know how to describe how good he is at joinery, other than not describing it. Because it's it's just something else. It, it, you know? You 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 know what I mean. You know what I mean. If Robin gave me the it, right, so if Robin gave me the opportunity right, he's that he's that good that if Robin messaged me and gave him the opportunity to go work with him for a week, wherever he is, I think he's down south somewhere. I would jump at that and I'd be off before he even said, do you want to? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, uh, okay. Uh, straight there, bye. Right, anyway, enough of that nonsense about Robin. Um, I, I, I'm talking about like I know him. Yeah, me and me and Rob, we go down to the, 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 the pub and get lashed. So what drew me to this nail gun? Again, gasless, powerful. Few things I don't like on it. I mentioned on a decking video, which was last year, nearly this time last year actually, maybe a few months ahead. Was, there was one thing that I didn't like. Now there are two things that I don't like about it, which are, one's, one's, a, one's a silly thing, the other one is not so much. But the annoying thing about this one was, is somewhere in there, when I was firing, it ended up sort of moving the carcass of the nail gun apart and started pinching the hairs on my arm. It was irritating me. It doesn't actually do it so much anymore, but it was annoying me. The second thing is this clip is not long enough. It's, there's so many times and I, I can't, I, there are so many times where, you know, it, you're, if you're nailing, you're just in the zone, nailing away, and then ran out of nails, go get some more. And you've left them on the other side of the room. It's very frustrating. I wish they had like an extension clip. If they do, I don't know about it, so if there is, Please tell me every single review on YouTube about this nail gun. Everybody says the same thing, and you know what I'm gonna say. You know, I did an extra clip, more nails. It's heavy, right? It's it's heavy. Personally, I don't care that it's heavy, but really, I, I just I genuinely don't care. It's men. It's a great nail gun. From what I've, a lot of reviews I've seen, people make out it's a massive issue. It's not. We work, I mean like, we work in the trade, we're all meant to be strong, just use it, it's fine. The actual nose, the bit that stabs the timber so it grabs, very narrow, not great. The puzzler ones are quite splayed so they can actually dig in. There are certain positions on this nail gun that when you dig into the timber, for example, there are certain positions where you get to it and it, 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 won't, it won't fire, so there are certain... There are certain positions where it just won't, it, it's firing now, of course it's firing now. There are certain positions where you're using it and it just won't fire and you've got to really dig in and, and push to make sure that extension is completely fine. The way I get around that is I actually set the depth less so the nails aren't firing as much. I mean, you're putting 90mm nails in, usually the screw studs together with 70 to 80mm screws so actually you've got a bit of leeway. In terms of battery life, it's okay. It does run out pretty quick, but I mean, the amount of power that it does take to run this thing, it, it does drain it pretty quick. I wouldn't be surprised if the new batteries would last a lot longer, but I think these are the old models. But this is what just came in the nail gun. On Scott Brown's review on this nail gun, his nail gun came with a really short rafter clip. I'm assuming that's just to do with where you buy it from, because I bought mine, and it's like, it's like nearly as big as my head. So I'm assuming that's just what country you're from, where you live, and it all depends. Anyway, power, the, main, the thing that we want to talk about. So, power. Is it powerful? Yes. That's all I have to say. And also, another perk to it, is you don't have to warm it up when it's cold. It will just work. You don't need to put gas under your, put, you know, you don't need to put the gas cartridge under your armpit or down your pants, you know, in the, in, in, in the area, you know, to keep everything warm. Or you could just simply put it in your van and keep it warm, each their own. I 
Okay, for you people with keen eyes, yes, I may have missed a few shots, but that's what happens when you're rushing around. Anyway, it took me three minutes and 33 seconds just to cut things and do that. I know it's not the most glamorous thing, but what I'm trying to say is it's fast. You know, you're saving time. Really, if you're piloting that, putting screws in, three screws and on the top, three screws there, three screws there, three screws, it'll take you a lot longer. And I'd rather not, and you may say, well, you can just put the impact screw through. You just impact the screw through. Yeah, but then you'll end up breaking your bit, which will take you longer. So what have we learned today? So, what have we learned today? We've learned that I can just hang my Akoki nail gun with my huge rafter hook, take that how you want, off of 5 to 2 timber. And it doesn't actually fit. It's just meant for, like, double rafter joists. But hey, so we've learned that I like Hakoki, I like DeWalt, I picked this because of the noise, I definitely didn't pick the DeWalt because of the noise, and if you're in the market to get a nail gun, on second fix, get that. Also, if you're in the market for a second fixed nail gun that's noisy, that doesn't bump fire when you want it to bump fire, and it shows you up in front of a camera and thousands of people, sometimes jams because it needs a bit of oil on it and comes with a little nozzle that you'll never see until it's three years later but still is your little baby and it's very light by the way get that however I am going to get the Koki 18 gauge <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate the time you've taken out of your very busy day to watch my pathetic videos and watch pathetic old me. I appreciate it. The channel's been great. I know it's been like over a week since I uploaded. I did have three days. I did have three days off, so I hadn't actually filmed anything, but I knew I was gonna film this nail gun video um, because it's been highly requested. Uh, some other reviews that people want me to do, I will do them in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. So, oh, I had a haircut. Bye.